Ron Roberge. I'm a Waltham resident for 28 years and a retired architect and an artist. My work is mainly abstract, learned from the works of such artists as Charles Sheeler, Joan Mitchell, and Gerhard Richter. I use a variety of paint application methods, from squeegees to credit cards, brushes, and rags. I'm a retired architect, and a good portion of my third bedroom in the house is used for architecture. This is my work desk, and my work paint area is a very small 6 foot by 8 foot area that I use. Here's my easel. This is a current figurative work I'm working on, Untitled, and this is a previous work called A Drag for Lana. I keep all my paint in small storage bins and I have a converted door into a table here on the side of my paint area where I do, which is basically my workspace from. And that is my home studio. This is when the winds have changed shift, which I painted during the 2020 pandemic. I apply paint several layers thick, often removing as much paint as I've applied. This gives me a layered texture look and provides depth that I selectively highlight for emphasis. Pandemic has found me in my small home workspace several hours most days. This has been a creative period for me and is based on the found time to be introspective. I love to explore and discover what I can do with paint and I'm fortunate to welcome what paint can do for me. This is August Sky, painted in 2020. It evoked visions of summer heat in August in the evening. It's acrylic on canvas, 30 inches by 40 inches, and I apply a varnish, give it a sheen. Carmine and Sable, 2020, 30 inches by 40 inches, acrylic on canvas with a varnish. This is Pache. 2019, kind of reminiscent of Franz Klein. Scenes from a play, 2020. This to me evokes feelings of an exciting performance on stage. When the winds of change shift, 2020. Acrylic on canvas, 30 inches by 40 inches. I have attended Waltham Mills Open Studios for many years. About five years ago, I met one of my art teachers, Pat Matina, during a visit to her studio at Waltham Mills, and I continue to work with her. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to join and show my work alongside Waltham Mills artists. I hope you will visit my website at roberstudio.com. That's R-O-B-E-R-G-E studio.com.